We all saw that porn up. At the Keller Open Mic, there's one of the sweetest things that we get to do is give someone their first taste of stage time. And we're not doing that, we're doing it twice tonight. The first, uh, we aforementioned him at the very beginning of the show as he, two weeks ago, emailed the, or messaged the red carpet saying he was bringing 50 of his uh, co-workers and employees. He brought five, but you know what? <laughs> Like most comics, he's really good at embellishing. That's good. I like that. We need it. Um, I don't know if you noticed this, but uh, all of these guys who come here, a lot of them have been doing this for a long time, have been trying to improve. This is their workout space. I need them to keep coming back and buying drinks because it makes me look good. And yes, I said the quiet part out loud. <laughs> They're like, oh shit, that got real serious real quick. <laughs> so, we need to make this guy feel like he's about to do his own Netflix special, okay? Teaching kids to bully, maybe. Uh, why is everybody so pissed off? I don't know. I honestly, uh, I always heard it's better to be pissed off than pissed on. <laughs> Unless you're R. Kelly. Are you digging that piss all day? It's coming on. But uh, no, I, I'm going to tell just a quick story. I have lived a wild life. I mean, I wrote a bull. I fucking uh, went to Woodstock 99, freshman in high school. No, no freshman in high school should go to Woodstock 99. But uh, I did, and uh, I, I boxed two matches for USA. I got my ass kicked. And uh, I've done a lot of wild shit, but this last year was terrible. There was COVID. I went to the Amazon jungle, married, and uh, tried to do my 10-year anniversary in the Amazon jungle. I thought if you could make it through the Amazon, you could make it through nothing, but I got divorced last November. <clears throat> and uh, we fucking got down to it. We, I mean, she, uh, we were drunk, we were drinking, and I was like, am I not pleasing you anymore, babe? And uh, I'm like, my dick not big enough? You know what's going on? I'm all fucked up and drunk. I should have maybe stayed sober for half a day, but I was like, she's like, she never says shit, so I'm like, fuck it, we're getting divorced. Babe, I'm gonna get a big dick. I'm gonna go to the doctor and figure this shit out. So, so I went to this lady, unattractive doctor, and I fucking whip it out, and she said, you are average. I was stoked, dude. It was like, you know, uh, turn your head and cough, or turn your head and see how big your dick is. But uh, she said, I'm average. She's like, you don't need to do that surgery or injection shit. I'm like, well, what do you recommend, miss? And she said, she said, you get a penis bump, you get a couple centimeters, and I don't know if you guys have ever seen a penis bump, but it looks just like this fucking water bump. Exactly the one I ordered. So you got like your vacuum machine up here, you got your dick sitting in a uh, fucking training for to be an astronaut. Like this little suction cup, little thing right here. So I did like a Netflix and chill. I'm like, fuck it, I'm put a little marker on, like, oh, maybe two centimeters right here, I'll get to you tonight. And fucking, uh, it, it was yanking, you know? I turned that, it's got three levels, one, two, three, it was yanking and cranking. And she said, you could use some lube or you could use a ring, whatever the fuck a ring meant. I didn't know what she was talking about. But I soon realized that a ring was going to be my socks that I had cut up and rolled up tightly to keep my balls from going up into that unit. 
I got Netflix and chilling going on. I got a war movie setting too. I'm like, it's either full on floating or it's a uh, leech against the side and I'm, I'm cruising. <laughs> and then that nut went through everything. <laughs> it went through everything and I couldn't get the motherfucker off and uh, I ended up ripping the whole battery and throwing it against the door and I'm 40 years old living at my parents right now. I used to be a fucking baller. About 12 years married, 40 years old living at my parents. All of a sudden, the door is open and I got a penis pump on. My mom said, David, you okay? And I said, yeah, mom, I'm average. Good night. Nice to meet you all. Thanks for having me.